proof beyond a reasonable doubt that the president is a felon, that he committed serious acts of obstruction of justice, and if his name was Kwame or Pedro rather than Donald Trump, he would be on his way to jail. And Paul Rosenzweig, let me just push you a little bit on this because the attorney general says the exact opposite. He's essentially making the case that, look, the president has the authority to hire and fire whomever he wants. And guess what? He never fired Mueller. He didn't fire Sessions until after the 2018 midterm election. So does he have a point that it doesn't necessarily rise to the criminal level when it comes to obstruction? Why do you disagree there? Well, two answers to that. First, with respect to the president's authority to hire and fire who he wants, that goes without saying. But he doesn't have the right to do that for a corrupt motive. He has the right to pardon people. He doesn't have the right to take a million-dollar bribe to pardon someone. And he certainly doesn't have the right to direct his White House counsel to create false uh, entries and, and lie about what he's done to the American public or to Congress. So, so that's the first part about that. Uh, as to the second part about whether uh, about the lack of success, the law is abundantly clear that you don't have to uh, succeed in order to uh, obstruct justice. In fact, the language of the law is an endeavor to obstruct justice, an attempt to obstruct justice. When Bill Clinton tried to convince Betty Curry to lie to the grand jury about his connections to Monica Lewinsky, that was obstruction even though Betty Curry didn't lie about it. Well, and you heard the example that Paul just gave there, what would your counter-argument be to the Attorney General who makes the case that he's looked at the evidence too and he doesn't see anything that rises to the level of a crime, but as Paul Rosenzweig just said, look, there doesn't need to be an action that actually has a reaction in order there to, for there to be a criminal intent there. And I would ask the Attorney General to look at the thugs that he's prosecuted in organized crime families or drug cartels, and if you look at some of the evidence in the Mueller report, Trump isn't a whole lot different. Think about the witness intimidation. He threatened Michael Cohen's family. He dangled a pardon in front of Paul Manafort. I became a prosecutor because I believe in equal justice under the law. I think Trump should suffer the same consequences as anybody else in the United States of America. No one should be above the law. All right, Paul Butler and Paul Rosenzweig, the two Pauls, thank you very much for helping us drill down on that very complicated discussion. Appreciate it.